Welcome back to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 1. For more free lessons on Microsoft Access, make sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my website at accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube. Now let's take a few minutes to review what we learned in today's class. We learned some database terminology, the benefits of using a database, and the parts of an access database, including tables, queries, forms, and reports. We learned how to plan a database, including determining what tables and fields you need. We learned about the different parts of the access interface, including the ribbon menu. We learned how to build a customer table, how to set up different fields in our table. We learned about the different types of data that those fields can hold. And we learned about primary key fields. We learn how to enter and edit data in our tables and how to work with records. We learn how to sort and filter data in our tables. We also learn that that's not always good enough because sorting and filtering isn't permanent. So because of that, we built a couple of different queries to show our customer information in different ways. We constructed a customer form to provide our user with a nice clean user-friendly interface to work with data. We also built a couple of different customer reports, including some mailing labels. And we learned how to print reports, send them as email attachments, or save them as PDF files. What's next? The next class in the series is Access 2010 Beginner Level 2. For complete information on this course, an outline of topics covered, plus some sample lessons, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. While you're on my website, you will find that I have lots of lessons available for Access 2003. I'm currently in the process of updating all of my courses for Access 2010. However, I haven't yet re-recorded all of my older advanced lessons. If you find a course that you're interested in that hasn't been updated yet, feel free to purchase it and you will receive a free upgrade to the Access 2010 version of that course when it's released. Once you're beyond the basics, Access 2010 is close enough to 2003 that you should be able to follow along with the older videos many of my students have so far. This will allow you to continue learning with my advanced Access lessons before the 2010 versions are ready. Once again, if you have any questions or comments about the material covered in today's class, please feel free to post them in the Access Student Forums, which you can find next to the video window if you're online, or by visiting accesslearningzone.com forums. If you need help with a Microsoft Access project that you're working on and your questions weren't answered in today's class, you can visit my technical support page at accesslearningzone.com slash tech help. I have options available for both free and paid support and I do my best to provide you with a prompt response. Your questions aren't limited to just Microsoft Access. You can ask me anything computer related including Windows, Word, Excel, Web Design, Photoshop, and lots more. I often release new courses and free video tutorials if you'd like to stay up to date with these new releases, you can subscribe to my blog at accesslearningzone.com slash blog. Also, make sure to become a fan of my Facebook page at facebook.com slash accesslearningzone. And you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash 599cd. If you require help with your courses, assistance placing an order, or any other type of customer service, you can contact us online at accesslearningzone.com slash contact. We also do our best to have live customer service specialists available as much as possible. Now the only way I can make these classes better is with your feedback. Visit accesslearningzone.com slash survey right now and let me know what you thought of today's class. Did I go too fast, too slow? Did I cover enough material? Give me your feedback today, and also let me know what topics you would like to see covered in future lessons. Thank you for learning with AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you've enjoyed this class, 
and I look forward to seeing you again soon. This course is copyright 2011 by accesslearningzone.com. All rights reserved. This course may not be reproduced, copied, edited, or otherwise distributed without the express written permission of accesslearningzone.com. This course is sold on a per-user basis. Please do not share this course with others. If you require licenses for additional users, please contact us for discounted multi-user pricing. This course may not be used in a corporate, government, or educational institution without a site license. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right now and also don't forget to visit my website at accesslearningzone.com YouTube for more advanced lessons and other specials just for YouTube viewers.